Hello, everyone. I'm going to talk about the true back fever tense today. The true back fever tense is similar with the plain back fever tense, but you can see the ground width is from plain to true width now. Now, I will talk about the difference between the true foundation and the plain foundation. For the structure, a true foundation width is looser than a plain one. That means the pipe is easier to run out. So, in order to maintain the same firmness of pipe, it needs a large number of ground pegs to be inserted. Then we can put more pipe pegs and form a denser pipe with same ratio of pipe to ground pegs. But for the cloth texture, True foundation give a softer and more flexible hand feel than the paint foundation. Now we will draw a true back fabric tint with the ground is 2 and 1 to width and the pie is 1 and 2 to width. And the ratio of ground pegs to pie pegs also is 1 to 3. While you can see the warp edge is 6, the web peg is 12, which is much more than the one in the pink back fabric with the same pie width. First, we need to draw the area in the point paper. For the warp end is 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and the web pack is 12. And we need to decide what ground width and pie width we use. For here, the ground width is 2 and 1 true, and we use a X across to represent the ground width. When you see the cross, it means the ground width is under the wall end. For the pie width, we use 1 and 2 true, and we use a back block to represent it. When you see the back block, you may know the pie width is under the wall end. When you see the bank block, which means the warp is under the ground and the pie width. Then we can insert the ground width first. For the ground width, we do not need to draw alternately. Therefore, the drawing is same with the normal tree width. For the ground one, you see, this, they are the same. Well, the warp end is 6, so we need to double the ground. For the ground 2, and we add the 2 width in this line, and the ground 3. After we insert the ground width, then we can insert the pi width. Be careful, the pie width is indicated on alternately and only to form a long yarn flow for cutting to form the pie. So for the pie one, we put it here. For the pie two, we do not join next to the pie one. We draw alternately and. So we draw here and the pi free. After you finish to pi one to pi three, and we just repeating like this, then we finish the drawing of this. After finish the drawing of the fabric, we need to design the position of the cutting point. The cutting point is for cutting the long fold to form the pies. We usually put the cutting point in the middle of the fold. You can see from this design, we have a fold of 5, so we cut at the 3. For the pi 1, we cut here. For the pi 2, we have a new position of the cutting point. And for the pi 3, we have an other position of the cutting point. You can find us they have different cutting points is represent different parts. Normally, how many parts you have, 
how many cutting points you have. We have three points, so we have three cutting points here. This is the end of this video. Thank you for watching.